We're closer than ever to the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Fewer and fewer people are mortified by who they truly are. The idea of identity has been in enormous flux in the last 25 or 30 years. A vast number of qualities that would once not have been considered identities now are. To some extent, we went through multiculturalism with its beautiful mosaic and with the idea that all kinds of qualities that had seemed socially undesirable might in fact be part of what makes the culture rich and precious. Now there's an attempt vastly to expand that mosaic by designating all kinds of other qualities as identities. I became convinced as I worked on the book that every single quality that I've written about can be experienced as an identity. There's deaf identity, there's dwarf identity, there's autistic identity, which comes out in the neurodiversity movement. There's identity for people who commit crimes. Um, it may not be a very good identity, but it's very much an identity and functions as an identity. There's identity for people who are transgender. There's identity for prodigies for whom that becomes a defining quality. We live in the age of the internet, and all kinds of people who would once have been quite isolated can now find one another. And so online has been the place where identities have hatched out of nothingness. Suddenly, people who have any given quality in common can all find one another. They can all talk about it. They can all formulate it as an identity. That's been an incredible, radical transformation, and it couldn't happen until now because we didn't have the internet until now. When it happens, it's generally very empowering. People find other people who are like them. They don't feel so alone. They feel as though they have connected with other human beings, and they reinforce to one another a sort of validation of their experience. And I think that's the essence of identity, is the sense that you can take something which might have seemed strange or troubling when it was just you who was affected, and find a world in which it has meaning, and in which it's respected, and in which it's accorded dignity.